Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're talking about the Sephora savings event. I wanted to come here and share with you my recommendations for the Sephora sale. Some of the products that you're going to see in this video are quite new um, in the sense that they are not new to me but I haven't talked about them on this channel and I really wanted to have a look at the Sephora website and choose the products that I think are worth the splurge. So let's go ahead and get started. All of the information about the Sephora savings event and all of the dates are going to be in the description box along with affiliate links in case you would like to support my work and to use those affiliate links. A huge thank you in advance for that. I always appreciate your time when you watch my videos and I always appreciate when you use my affiliate links as well. So a huge thank you. Now let's go ahead and get started. I want to start. Now usually I'm going to organize my videos on sections but today I decided that I want to use a different approach because there are a lot of products that I'm excited about I want to share them with you and that's why I'm going to start with the products that I'm most excited about and I just want to share with you and that attract my attention so this video is not going to be divided into different sections such as skincare foundations, powders, etc. because I don't have products from each category. I just have products that I'm generally excited about and that I want to talk about. I'm also going to share with you some products that I think I've tried, I haven't reviewed here, but I didn't like them. So I also want to share those products with you. Now, as I'm talking, I'm going to be looking at my laptop because I have prepared a list beforehand and I have all of the products that I want to mention. So I'm going to be looking down at my laptop most of the time. And the first product that I wanted to start with is a product that really impressed me. And this is the newest um, J'adore fragrance by Dior. This is a fragrance that I, I almost fell in love with this fragrance. I've tested it, tried it. Um, immediately after it was launched. What makes this fragrance quite interesting is that this is the first fragrance I believe that does not contain alcohol. So it's alcohol free, it's quite interesting. And when you spray it actually, it has a milky white color. It literally has this milky white color. It doesn't stain clothes, I've tried it already. And it has the typical J'adore DNA. However, for some reason I just cannot wear J'adore by Dior and that's why I decided to skip this fragrance, not purchase a full-size bottle. But is it a gorgeous fragrance? It's definitely a gorgeous fragrance and I'm actually, I'm actually considering to buy it because it is such a lovely floral fragrance. So this fragrance has jasmine, magnolia, neroli and probably it's the neroli that makes it so special to me. Somehow I definitely can feel the neroli and it has such a lovely, beautiful dry down. I think that this fragrance is seasonless. It's mostly going to be suitable for spring summer season, but I don't see a reason why I wouldn't wear it also in the fall or the winter season. I really don't wear <laughs> J'adore. And that's the only thing that makes me not buy it for now. But I think that it's a very interesting option. I think that it's very interesting that they created the fragrance that does not contain alcohol and I really did not have high expectations. I was expecting that it's not going to be long lasting, but it somehow hugs you with such a beautiful, I would say it's a warm floral fragrance. I have a few other fragrances that I'm excited about and I'm going to share them in a minute. A little bit later in this video and that's the only reason why I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this one or some of the other fragrances. Next product that I want to share with you is a mask that is a face mask and you see me sharing this face mask actually in my recent favorites videos. I have a lot of these and I always stock on these when I have a discount at my local retailer where I, bu where I buy Lancome, I always purchase those masks when they have discount and I always purchase a lot of them because I use them on a regular basis. I can say that they are very hydrating, moisturizing, they really add hydration and I find that they plump up my skin. This is one of my favorite masks also to use in the morning when I want to give my skin a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a glow. This is a mask that I absolutely love. I also have the eye mask of the same series, uh, but at the US Sephora in US and Canada, you only have the face mask for now. 
So I would absolutely not hesitate to recommend this one, especially now that you can get some discount with it. I really love those masks. I find that they somehow plump up the skin and they don't, they help me to not look as tired. So really 10 out of 10 for these masks. Next, I have two skincare products from Lancome that I'm excited to share with you. Now I've tried them with very generous samples and that's because I buy Lancome from the exact same retailer and that's why they are very generous to me when it comes to samples. And lately in the past, um, let's say a couple of months, I was able to try actually, I think all of Lancome's skincare, like all of the lines, I was able to try them and they gave me quite generous samples. So the one product that really stands out to me is the Lancome Absolute Revitalizing and Brightening Soft Cream. This is the luxury cream. I really loved the texture of this cream. When I was using it, I was only using it in the evening because it is quite rich. It looks light. However, once applied on the skin, it definitely has a rich texture and it makes my skin very plump, very youthful. In the morning, my skin becomes very well rested and I could notice that approximately seven days after using the cream that my skin literally became it looked overall well rested. So this is a product that I'm definitely going to buy once I get my 20% off because I often, um, I buy the Lancome products at 20% off. So I'm waiting for my 20% to purchase this cream because I think it's going to be excellent for me in the winter. If you wanna try that, I think that the ingredients are good. And then the other product that I'm waiting to be launched in my local retailer is the brightening toner with salicylic acid. I loved this one. They had samples that I was able to try, but they still don't have it for sale at my local retailer. So they, it's probably going to launch, I think in the beginning of November. And I'm thinking that I'm going to be buying this one because I like a toner with exfoliating action. Now, if I only had to choose one of the products, I would definitely choose the soft cream. I think it's gorgeous. I did not like the rich cream. I did not like the serum. I did not like anything else from this line. I've also tried the sheet mask from the same line, the same gold line of Lancome, and I like it, but it's not available currently at the US Sephora. I loved it, but I would say that it's good for people who have dry skin. Next, moving on to a lipstick that I wanted to share with you. This is the lip color that I'm wearing in this video. It is by Gucci and I really love this lip color for the winter season because it's this beautiful red. It's very easy to wear red color, I think, and a lot of people can wear it. Also, typical packaging from Gucci. It's really beautiful. I wanted to share this lipstick with you because I have been wearing this lipstick a lot and it gets me a lot of compliments. I think that it's a great autumnal color. Also, the lipstick is the satin formula from Gucci. So it is quite moisturizing. Next, we are moving on to another skincare product that I really love and adore. And this is the La Mer Revitalizing Mask. I rarely am going to be without this face mask. It's really good, especially for people who have sensitive skin. I think that especially now as we are going into the fall winter season, it's very nourishing, it's lovely, it's very light and a little goes a long way with this mask. So if um, you were only to buy one product from La Mer to try, I would say definitely go for this one. I really love it and as I said, I have been using it for years. It has a lovely texture. And one thing about this mask, it can be used in the evening. My favorite way is to use it in the evening. Just apply a generous layer and sleep with the mask. I really see a difference when I use this mask. And the other way is if I see that my skin is a little bit rough and very dehydrated and doesn't look its best, I'm also going to use it in the morning sometimes, just instead of a moisturizer. Makeup applies beautifully on top of this mask from La Mer. Next, we are moving on to a foundation. And this is one of my favorite foundations, all time favorite foundations, which I think is very suitable for the winter season. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libre Skin Caring Glow Foundation. Now, this is the Glow Foundation and I do not hesitate to recommend this one, especially for the winter season. I think I have some hair here. Anyways, uh, it's very nourishing. It's 
lovely and I have combination skin and it does not make my skin look oily. It, it literally blurs imperfections, it sinks so well into the skin, does not emphasize pores and it gives the most beautiful glowing complexion. So if you like glowy skin, I would say this one is a winner for me. I've tried also the matte foundation, but I will not recommend it. You're not going to see it listed in the description box because I don't, I keep having something that tickles me. And it's probably a hair. Okay, so I was saying the matte foundation, you're not going to see it because um, listed in the description because I just don't, it's not a bad foundation, but it's not worthy to be in this list. It's not that exceptional. So it's a good one, but I would not say go ahead and buy it. Anyways, moving on to the next product. The next product is a blush from Tom Ford and this is my most, one of my most favorite blushes. This is Brazen Rose by Tom Ford. So there we have it. It's a beautiful, almost like a nude blush. It's the most beautiful blush color for my skin tone. I use it a lot and I have, I, I suppose I have five or six colors from these blushes in particular. And the one that I use the most is Brazen Rose. I really love this one because it's suitable for all occasions. I don't have to think when I'm applying this blush. I know that it's always going to work. It's just um, such a beautiful product from Tom Ford. However, it doesn't look good on medium to deep skin tones. So this one is only I'm going to recommend if you have similar skin tone to mine or if you have pale complexion. If you are medium, medium to deep, I will not recommend this blush because it's not going to show up on you. Next, we are moving on to, okay, I have two lipsticks from Dior actually. The one that I wanted to show you the most is Beige Oblique. You've seen me showing this lipstick so many times and in case you're interested and you want to buy any of these Dior Addict Shine lipsticks, I have a lot of swatches of these lipsticks and I'm going to make sure to leave a link in the description box so that you can watch the video. One of my favorite colors and most used uh, is the Beige Oblique. This is a beautiful beige color. It's 418. It's not a very long lasting lipstick. Just keep that in mind. It's almost in the middle between a lip balm and a lipstick, but I really love it. And if you want to see more colors of these swatched, I'm going to make sure to leave a link in the description box. I wanted to mention these lipsticks from Dior because I've tried them. I have a couple of colors. This one in particular is Grace. It's 558. I believe it was called Grace. Anyways, 558. I have a couple of colors of these. I did not review them because I bought them, I tried them, but then I was in delay with my review and I thought I'm not going to review it because somehow I could not like it. It's a long lasting lipstick, but probably if you have fuller lips than mine on my lips, it just didn't look good. good. Other than that, the color is beautiful. You literally cannot remove the lipstick from your lips. However, I don't like it. For some reason, I just could not like it. So I do not recommend this one. Next, I have one lip color in particular that I wanted to recommend from the Dior lipsticks again. And this one is 434, which I think is a beautiful statement nude color for this season. Just want to go ahead and show you. So this is a color that I often use in my daily life. I don't know why I don't happen to show it often on YouTube in my videos, but it's a beautiful color. It's absolutely stunning and I wanted to share it with you because this is a color that I wear a lot in my daily life and I think that it's worth the splurge. Next product that I wanted to share with you is the Dior Backstage Concealer and I know that this concealer received a lot of mixed reviews. However, I think that it's a beautiful product if you want to cover dark circles. I use just a little bit of this concealer. I'm going to make sure to leave a link to my review of this concealer. I think that it works beautiful if you have issues with dark circles. The only thing is that I like to mix it with a little bit of my foundation because otherwise it's quite thick 
So if you go ahead and apply a lot of concealer, I think that you're not going to like it. But if you mix it with the foundation, then it really is a high coverage concealer that I like. This is one of the few high coverage concealers that I actually like. Next, moving on to three fragrances that I'm really excited about. Now, the first one, I only have a sample of this one. Well, I have actually a few samples of this one. I used to have it in a full size bottle and I finished it. I love it. And I think that this is the fragrance that I'm going to repurchase instead of J'adore by Dior, but I'm still on the fence. I still cannot decide. This is Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Now, for now, I only have the Eau de Parfum of Coco Mademoiselle and I have the Pure Parfum of Coco Mademoiselle, but I want to buy for this fall season the Intense version. Now, the Intense version, these two have the same DNA. You are going to recognize the DNA of Coco Mademoiselle, but I think that I want to wear the Intense version for the fall winter season because this one is a little bit more citrusy. The citrus in the intense version has been toned down. It has more patchouli and I can definitely feel a little bit more rose. Let's say not more rose, but let's say the rose is more rich with the intense version. It just is... I wouldn't even, I know that a lot of people describe this fragrance as warmer, stronger. I don't feel like it's stronger. It's not more long lasting than the original Coco Mademoiselle de Parfum. It is just somehow more rich, I would say, in terms of richness of the flavors, richness of the of the flowers. Let's say that the flowers are a little bit more rich and I'm going to Actually, go ahead and spray this one here. Yes, it immediately just... I don't get as much citrus as here. It is a little bit, just a fraction more feminine. Whereas this one is a fraction more... Um, more like a rebellious girl and this one is more like a lady-like fragrance. I don't know. This one has more richness, the intense version. Definitely want the intense version. It's somehow, it is like Coco Mademoiselle on steroids, if you want to. I don't know how to explain this one, but it's such a gorgeous fragrance. And yes, now smelling this one, I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy another one of the Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I'm going to be skipping the J'adore by Dior. Anyways, both are beautiful. And then my other recommendation, of course, this is going to come as no surprise. This is the Allure Eau de Parfum. This is one of my all-time favorite winter fragrances in case you like sophisticated, multifaceted, complex fragrances. I think this one is going to be for you. It has jasmine, it has a little bit of peach, it has rose, it has patchouli, it has vanilla. It is a gorgeous, very, very sophisticated lady-like fragrance, which I love to wear in the winter time. So this is a gorgeous one. Next comes another fragrance that I was wearing a lot. This used to be my signature fragrance in my early 20s. And this is the Givenchy Very Irresistible Eau de Toilette. I think I'm going to purchase this fragrance again because I have been wearing the Givenchy Very Irresistible in my 20s for years. Like I suppose that for two or three years, it was my signature fragrance. So this fragrance I think is for those of you who love rose, but it's not this kind of a natural rose. It, it's a very interesting, I would say almost rebellious rose because it's mixed with white musk. It has a little bit of pear. It, it doesn't smell natural. It doesn't smell like a natural rose, but it smells like an edgy rose. Um, it's youthful, it's nice, and it always, I remember that this fragrance always used to get me so many compliments. And um, I would say that I definitely want to wear this fragrance again. I, for sure, I'm going to be purchasing this fragrance again this fall season. So it's a beautiful one. Next, we're moving on to an eyeshadow palette, and I have only two eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to recommend now. I am going to recommend this Sophisticate palette from Charlotte Tilbury. You've seen me using this one, I believe, in my French uh, series, in my French videos. And um, if you haven't seen my French beauty secrets videos where I pretend to be French for a day, I'm going to have a link in the description box. I really enjoy filming those. This is a an eyeshadow palette that has four matte colors and I absolutely adore it. 
The name says it all. This is just a very sophisticated eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today. It's very easy to wear. The colors blend beautifully. And then the other eyeshadow palette that I have that I wanted to recommend is Imperial Moon by Guerlain. This is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette that's suitable for every day or it's suitable also for special occasions. I'm going to leave a link to a video where you can see me using this palette along with swatches. I have all of these Guerlain palettes except for the blue one. But Imperial Moon is the one that I use most often and is my favorite. Next, we're moving on to Guerlain bronzers. I've seen in store the Guerlain Holiday bronzer. I'm definitely going to be skipping it because I already have so many limited edition Guerlain bronzers that I'm probably not going to be able to use them for the next 10 years or 20 years. Even I'm not exaggerating here. I just have so many Guerlain bronzers. They come up with a limited edition bronzer every collection. So I'm going to be skipping this holiday bronzer. I am going to recommend actually the summer bronzer, which I have been using a lot and I love. This is the terracotta bronzer. I have it in light warm. I really like this one. Now I want to quickly mention also the new Guerlain mascara, the Noir G mascara. This is the mascara that I have been wearing in the past couple of months. I really love it and it gives enough length volume, it curls the lashes. This is definitely a mascara that I'm going to be repurchasing. You've seen me using it in almost every video recently. I think it's worth the splurge. Next, we're moving on to one favorite eye product that I am repurchasing. This is by Shiseido and it's the Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. I love this product for my under eye area. My issue with under eyes is that I have developed some fine lines here under my eyes. I don't struggle with puffiness for now um, or any kind of extreme darkness, but I have fine lines and I find that this one helps me. It is a good product. I, I repurchase this one. Next, we're moving on to a fragrance that again, I'm considering to purchase. And this is the Hermes Eau Poivre. I used to have this fragrance in the past. I love it. It's a warm, spicy, floral fragrance. That's the best explanation that I can give to this fragrance. I think that it really does not have a season. You can wear it even equally successful in the summer and in the winter months. So this fragrance has rose and patchouli in the base. Patchouli is quite spicy in this fragrance. It has also berries and I believe that it has pink pepper or at least I can detect the scent of some pink pepper in the opening notes of the fragrance. It's edgy. It's almost like a rebellious young lady this kind of a vibe. It gives me the vibe of a rebellious young lady. Next product that I'm going to recommend is my most used SPF this summer. I keep repurchasing this one all the time and this is by Murat. It is the Correct and Protect Serum. I really love this product. I believe that I will always keep repurchasing this product because it's a mineral SPF but it does not leave a white cast and at the same time it prevents pigmentation and it fights pigmentation. So a great product from Murad. I always keep repurchasing this one. Okay guys, now the next SPF that I want to mention briefly is one that I buy only when I have a certain discount because it's very expensive for an SPF. However, I like um, the effect of it. So this is the Le Mer SPF 50. It has a very interesting effect on the skin and it actually it's literally almost like SPF mixed with the highlighter. I want to show you because it is seen in the sunshine. It almost has those little reflective particles, which are like little green, blue reflective particles. And literally it just uh, gives it gives a lot of glow to the face. It doesn't leave a white cast when it's rubbed in the skin, but I'm going to see if you can actually see the effect here on my arm. Okay, I'm going to tilt my arm so that the light can hit my skin and you can probably see 
this effect that I'm talking about. So you can literally dab even a little bit here on the high points of the cheeks to enhance the glow of the skin. So this one is for those of you who are looking for this kind of a glowing complexion. Look, my arms are quite dark right now because I'm spending a lot of time outside. Okay, I think that you can see now how it reflects the light. So in case you're looking for this kind of effect, I like it and it almost feels like skincare. It has still the La Mer skincare inside. So this is only if you are looking for this kind of effect. Next, I just saw that Tom Ford, uh, there is a Tom Ford private blend sample set and I could not recommend this one enough because the fragrances are quite expensive and this sample set is going to help you to choose the right fragrance for you. Also another fragrance that I would love to mention probably, well there are a lot of fragrances today but that's how I feel, I just wanted to share with you what I'm excited about. So the one Tom Ford fragrance that I would recommend always is Lost Cherry, this is the one that I have, I will always keep in my collection, I adore this fragrance. However, um, if you are interested to try those Tom Ford fragrances, I think that now you have the opportunity to do so. I haven't seen such a um, sample set. If I see somewhere, I'm definitely going to buy for myself. Next, we're moving on to another fragrance. Now, another two fragrances I have. Very briefly, I'm going to present them to you because I'm excited about them. I have been wearing them a lot lately, in the past month. One of them is Love Story by Chloe and then the other one, I'm almost finishing it, is the Lancome Tresor Midnight Rose. Okay, so here we go. Now I always am going to have Tresor Midnight Rose, the smallest size, and it's almost finished, like it's, it's almost finished. I have like probably a few wears of this one. Now this is a fragrance that my partner actually gifted to me for the first time and this fragrance, for some reason, all men love this fragrance. I had, do not have explanation, I also love it, it's very girly, it's very feminine, um, it, it is a fruity floral fragrance, it has rose, it has a touch of vanilla and it has raspberry, it almost as well has like a violet scent, I would say, even though I believe it's not listed in the notes. For some reason, it's not just my partner, but all men love this fragrance and this fragrance is the one that gets me the most compliments when I wear it. That's why I always have a bottle of this one. Now I need to have this fragrance but I always buy the smallest size bottle because I can easily put this in my handbag. Not the most long-lasting one in terms of longevity, I would say that it lasts me for four hours. If I spray it on my clothes it lasts all day of course but on my skin it approximately three to four hours, so not the most long-lasting one, but it's a good one. And then the other one is Love Story by Chloe. This is just a very clean smelling white floral fragrance. And now I have a few products that I wanted to mention that I do not like. I've tried them, I do not like them. So we're going to start with one eye product from Guerlain. This is the Abbe Royale R Eye Repair Serum. I'm gonna pop a photo right here. Unfortunately, I splurged on this product. I did not like it. I had high hopes for this one because in general, I like and I've used some of Guerlain's skincare in the past. I think that they have good products. However, this one was way too dry. I did not really use the applicator. You are instructed, you know, to use the applicator to make a massage, but I did not see a single benefit from this product. I couldn't even use it the whole product, I just threw it away in the end because, I don't know, it's just useless for me. I did not like it, it was a waste of money and at the same time it's so expensive and I needed to share this with you because in case anyone is wondering like me, I just wish I would have been warned not to spend my money. If you have a different experience with this product, Leave me a comment, let me know. I love learning from you. Of course, products don't work equally for everyone, but for me, this was a fail. Next, we are moving on to the new foundation from Lancome. Luckily, I was able to get a sample from this one. I will not recommend it. I know that some of you guys love it. 
but it just did not give anything to my skin. It didn't make my skin glowy, it didn't give me a nice matte finish, it just did not do anything for my skin. And it doesn't blend very easily. For me, it was a fail, this foundation in particular. Next, another new product that I want to share was a disappointment for me. I was very, very excited about this palette. This is the Beautifying Face Palette Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. You can go ahead and watch my first impression review. Um, now, in my, in my first impression review, I said that I like it and I actually liked it. Apart from the fact that you have two blushes and two highlighters and I wish there was a blush, a highlighter, a bronzer, probably a little bit more versatile palette. Now the two blushes look almost, uh, look very similar on my face. So my issue here is that I promise that I'm going to keep using the palette and come back with um, an update on how it works for me. So my issue here, the two highlighters are buttery, soft, beautiful. I like them. The issue that I'm seeing here is this blush in particular, which happens to be my favorite. I'm almost hitting a hard pan on this blush. I don't know if this happened with any other of you, but I just don't love the quality of it. It's very firmly pressed powder. It's not that it's such a bad product, but for the price, I would not buy it. Like if I had the chance to return it, I would return it immediately. Now in Europe, it's the thing, we can't return products once you open a product. But if I were in the US here, I was probably going to make an effort and return it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know, for me, it just did not work. I'm not impressed. It was a waste of money. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. I think this were all of my recommendations for the Sephora sale right now. I'm going to make sure to follow the comment section. And if you have any questions, I've tried, I believe, a lot of products from Sephora. And of course, I cannot mention here everything. So in case you are in doubt or you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment. I would love to reply to you. I would love to help you to choose the right products because we all want to take advantage of a sale. And thank you so much for spending time with me. When you choose to watch my videos, it means so much to me. And I truly appreciate your time when you choose to watch my videos. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.